fail was coming up in the show. I know we only have about a couple minutes to talk about it. Can you walk us through? I mean, it just seems wrong to only have two minutes to talk about this level of detail, but we don't have a huge amount of these to go around. Can you tell everybody your inspiration here? Well, I think everybody's familiar with the uh, the story of uh, Noah's Ark. You know, it's, it's a story of, um, you know, emerging from diversity into a hopeful future. Oh. And I think that that is a, a very important sentiment uh, with the trials and, and the tribulations that's going on today here and around the world. So uh, it's, it's a good symbol of that sort of thing. Now, the detail on this is extreme. And it's, once again, it's a little bit on the whimsical side. In fact, it's very whimsical. But I mean, it, it's, I think it tells the story beautifully because it's got, if you'll notice, it's got on one side, it's got farm animals. You know, you've got the you've got the pigs and the sheep and the and the 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 cows and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a farm element. On the other side, it's got zoo animals. So I mean, it. Uh, and then you've got the monkeys and you've got the you know the zebras and the lions and all that kind of thing. And then at the very at the very at the very uh, end, you've got or the beginning, you've got Noah with the white dove. And the dove of peace, you know, the one that actually finds the, the greenery that says, okay, you know, good things are coming. And just like right now, spring's right around the corner, and we're all looking forward to that. But this piece, detailed-wise, artistically, it's a, it is considered a masterpiece by the folks that label it that way. Uh, and so it's one of those things that that and it's 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 large enough to really make a statement. And uh, I think we all uh, appreciate that. Uh, Particularly people of faith and everything, but anyone, it's a, it's a, I think a beautiful artistic addition to, uh, you know, to your, uh, uh, to your, your home, and you can put it on the shelf. You can put it anywhere you, as a reminder of, uh, of good things to come. You even worked some so, meerkats in there. I love it. I know it. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a few little surprises like that stuck oh, around. I love it. Um, you know what? There are not a huge amount of them to go around. Um, we have five easy payments of forty-one sixty. Just to very quickly, eleven inches long, five and a half inches wide, eight and a quarter inches tall. We have fewer than a hundred remaining. Um, please don't wait on this one. It is absolutely spectacular. Um, the ducks and the chickens and the elephants and the giraffe, they're all here. Um, Jim, I just have to say, I know you were up late. I love spending time with you, and I know so many of our friends at home do too. Happy 20th anniversary, and I guess we're inviting you back pretty quickly. You're going to be in the noon show. I am going to be in the noon <laughs> show, and I, just like I was at the 2 o'clock show, okay? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no <laughs> so, sleep for you. Uh, thank well, you. Well, you know, that's that's the way it goes, but thank you so much, Mary. You know, God bless you and your family and, and, you, uh, and everyone out there, and uh, I will see you in just a little while Yay. again. Thank you, Jim. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Um, you know what? Hey, earlier I was talking about getting ready for spring and we've